if you're living in your comfort zone, you're probably not growing and learning as much as you could be. This is the first video in a three-part mini-series talking about taking control of your life. The first video today is going to be about getting out of your comfort zone. The second video is going to be about designing your life. And the third video is going to be about the power of habit. Staying in your comfort zone is easy. It's why 73% of us in the United States are overweight and 42% obese. Exercising isn't easy, especially when you first start. Choosing healthy foods and restricting your calories isn't easy, especially when you start. It's why a lot of us get in the pattern of wake up, go to work, get home, watch TV on the couch, go to bed, wake up over and over and over, right? And that's fine if that's the life you want to live, but that's the pattern of comfort. And comfort isn't where we learn and grow. We're gonna use the learning zone model to frame our discussion today. And the learning zone model has three different zones. The first zone is the comfort zone. This is where it's easy, you're comfortable here. It's stress-free, you're content. The second zone is the stretch zone. The stretch zone is where we push ourselves. It's typically a high effort, and this is the best place to learn because you're out of your comfort zone, but you're not in zone three, which is the panic zone. This is a high anxiety zone, and more than likely you're gonna have poor performance because you're in over your head. There's a fine line between being comfortable and being in over heads, and that's the stretch zone. It has the best opportunities for learning and growing, and what we want to do is increase the size of that zone. Learning to be uncomfortable, learning to live in discomfort, will reduce the size of the panic zone and increase the size of the learning zone. Do you know someone that just doesn't panic no matter what the situation is? More than likely, they're comfortable being uncomfortable. And that's where we want to get you starting today. And there are three different ways to get into the stretch zone. The first way is that it's forced upon you. You get fired from your job, a loved one dies, you don't get into the academic program and your life path is altered. These are all things that will you typically learn and grow from. But I'm not saying go out and get fired today because number two is that someone else can help get you there. This is where good parents, teachers, coaches, mentors, supervisors come in. They help push you into your learning zone. And typically, if they know you well, they're not gonna let you get into the panic zone. I love staff training every semester. I get to throw different challenges at my staff and watch them overcome them. I never give them anything that they can't handle, but in the moment, they feel like it's an impossible task. And then they do it, they learn and grow from it, and they're better off because of it. We've created a culture of learning they know that if they call me, hey, I got a problem, how do I fix it? I'm gonna tell them, hey, how do you think you should fix it? And we're gonna work through this dialogue of them learning and growing and figuring out how to fix it. I'm not gonna give them the answers every single time. That's not them learning and growing, and that's the goal. And number three is triggering it yourself. You wouldn't know the name Rosa Parks if she lived in her comfort zone. She wasn't the first, she wasn't the last, but she made an intentional decision to step out of her comfort zone to create a change. Over time, with a little bit of trial and error, you're gonna start to figure out where your zones are, and you wanna be living in your learning zone. Now, with a little bit of trial and error, you're gonna step too far into that panic zone every once in a while, and that's okay. You're gonna fail, and that's okay. Create a culture of learning within yourself. One failure is just one step closer to learning how to succeed. Step out of your comfort zone today, get uncomfortable, start learning and growing, and be a better version of yourself. Accomplish the goals that you want to accomplish. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and hit that like button. If you wanna be a part of our community, I'm putting out two to three videos every single week geared towards giving you the tools to succeed. I'm proud of you, I love you, and I'll see you next time. Power of hobbits. Hobbits. Habits? Hobbits might be more powerful than habits. Took the Ring of Mordor, whole trilogy about it. I'll take hobbits over habits.